Take as many as 13 albums for only one penny when you join the Columbia Record and Tape Club. What is this? Terrific, you bet. But I'll show you a secret way to go this offer one better. Huh? And get up to 14 records or tapes instead of 13, all for that same penny. This is whack! Yes, 14 stereo records or tapes you choose yourself. The music you want most. You look like a player head that was so many... Just look for Columbia's announcement in the new TV guide. I can't get jiggy with this... Here on this coupon, you'll find a secret gold box. No explanation, just a gold box. Inside the gold box... Give me my damn money back and I don't have no damn receipt. Write the number of that additional album you want as your bonus. Then list your other 13 choices and mail the coupon. I don't have no damn car. Mind you, that extra record or tape is an extra bonus for you just because you're watching me now. Kiss so what? The Columbia Gold Box is in TV Guide. Hey, man, is that Freedom Rock? Yeah, man. Well, turn it up, man. Hello everybody and thank you very much for your time today and today I'm coming to you from Florence, South Carolina from Boosies. Yes, part of the video here is to make sure that you all understand how this establishment is pronounced. Yes, it is pronounced Boosies. And if you don't like it, too bad because you're not part of the Target Club either. All right, guys, obviously we're at Bucky, so sorry. Just had to do that with the thumbnail. Wanted to have some fun here. So, hey, this is going to be a fun video, a little bit of a longer video. This is going to be a full walkthrough of the Florence location here on Route 95 in South Carolina for Bucky's. So, as you saw there with all the gas pumps a few moments ago, don't know the exact number, but I assume it's probably around 150 gas pumps, plus or minus. This is an absolutely massive place, a massive store, a lot of goods, uh, both junky and also very good uh, stuff, you know, it, and I shouldn't actually say junk. I mean, it's all fun. Uh, ultimately, some of this stuff is kind of trinkety. Is it stuff we really need? No. Uh, but, you know, it's stuff that you do want that's kind of impulsive. But one of the great things about this location, not only for the fact that it is on Route 95, so uh, for those of you that are heading up and down 95, or maybe you're catching the intersection to go to Myrtle Beach, maybe you're coming down to Charleston, Hilton Head, uh, or going down to Florida, Bucky's really nailed this location. It is in a very good spot right off of Route 95. You can see it right from the highway. Uh, easy on, easy off, and I'm sure a lot of things are going to be popping up in development around this location. And just for your knowledge, this video was filmed before the 4th of July weekend in 2023. So that's why you see all of the uh, items here in the store have a lot of theming for USA, 4th of July, stuff like that. And also another thing is that this was filmed around 6 o'clock in the morning. Typically, if you go to a Bucky's from about 8 in the morning all the way probably till about 9 or 10 at night, this place is going to be packed. All of the locations are packed. Uh, this place has a great restroom area right off the bat. It's always very clean. So if you're close to a Bucky's and you have to go to the bathroom, you definitely want to hold out for a few minutes if you can and get to that Bucky's location versus a random gas station that's nasty. Uh, the jerky is one of the big things that Bucky's has. They have prepackaged and also fresh jerky in the cases that we'll see in a moment. Here's some of the prepared food areas that are packaged in ready grab and go. Uh, that banana cream is awesome, guys. The salads are awesome. Uh, we have been here about several times since it opened here in South Carolina, and we absolutely love it. They do have the order screens for the burrito and taco area, some of the made-to-order foods. And here is the fudge area. Look at all the amazing fudges. 
And as we start to walk around the rest of the carousel here, you'll see the roasted pecans and other roasted nuts. There's the burrito in the taco area. They also have a lot of sweets. Now they don't do donuts here. Uh, I don't know if it's just not a Texas thing, uh, but no donuts, but they do like cinnamon rolls. So if you're looking for sugar, uh, they definitely can hook you up. Now here are all the burritos and breakfast sandwiches and also all of their wraps and rolls. And there's the beaver tots. Those are really popular. And then we are going to see in a moment that they are working on some of the wraps right there. So I believe that's some of the brisket. And shout out Wally B. I know he's a big fan of Bucky's, obviously. For those of you that are watching my videos, you probably watch his also. Uh, and he has done a video to this location. Uh, I finally got around to doing this video. I wanted to do it a few earlier times, but unfortunately the place is so busy when you go in. It's really not the best idea. Uh, there's a lot of kids running around. There are people on top of each other uh, at Bucky's location. So let's go ahead and see what we've got over in the specialty meat case. And then we're gonna take a look at the jerky that you can purchase by the pound all nice and fresh lots of different flavors now i did get a package of the steakhouse jerky very good stuff and i believe i think it's about nine dollars a pound so it's not too too expensive there we've got some great muffins and cookies and sweets but no donuts again no donuts i don't know why they don't do that there's the cookies yeah love me a chocolate chip cookie absolutely and shout out sleeve did it unfortunately sleeve no donuts here but lots of other sweets so if you ever get down south and you have an opportunity to visit a bucky's definitely do it here is all of the fountain serve area i'm about to walk past the restrooms in a moment and again, guys, those restrooms are amazingly clean. They have staff and they're constantly cleaning uh, those restrooms. You are absolutely going to have a good experience that you're not going to have in other gas stations uh, throughout highways and byways. Uh, here you've got your coffee area. I did grab a nice hot coffee, a nice caffeinated beverage for you Adam the Woo fans out there. And the staff are very friendly here, by the way. Everybody was walking past. Uh, you know, they were uh, all greeting each other because I think they were changing shift here at about 6 a.m. And uh, everybody also said hi to me. They saw I had my little Osmo Pocket in my hand. Uh, nobody said, hey, you're not allowed to film here. I think Bucky's is one of those companies that definitely wants people to announce on social media how great it is. Uh, so here we go to the refrigerated cooler. We're going to spin back around. Take a look, guys. This is the back corner of our Bucky's here in Florence, South Carolina. I mean, you can barely see all the way to the other side. It is absolutely crazy. So in the refrigerated case, you have your normal waters, you got your energy drinks. Uh, one of the things that I do like about Bucky's is that they don't rely upon the alcohol sales. Uh, I do drink, uh, but I'm not a big drinker. Uh, so here is the beer section and you don't see an entire wall of beer. You do see some wine, but it's a small part of the store. So, and again, drinking's not a bad thing for everybody that loves to, absolutely, I join in. Uh, but ultimately, I really appreciate that Bucky's really is about more of the foods, also the t-shirts and all of the fun stuff, you know, all the family-oriented stuff. So here's all the different nuts, peanuts, pecans, uh, chocolate dipped, what do we got there? I can't even see. Boy, there's so much, it's absolutely amazing. Here's some of the smaller bagged salty snacks. And then also I think there's some of the uh, pork rinds. You've got the uh, Bucky's nuggets, the beaver nuggets in different flavors. And here we go back to some of the jerky, I believe that's gonna be off to the left side. Oh, those are some of the mixed bags. Here's some more of the sweets, the Swedish fish. Yeah, it's all absolutely awesome. So here is the jelly and jam section. I'm not sure actually uh, how I should be saying that here in South Carolina, uh, whether it be jelly or jam. Uh, here's the pecans. They're really big on the pecans here. Also, whenever you go near a register, whether you have a lot of stuff in your hands or not, uh, the staff at the register, they're always like, hey, sir, do you need to check out? They're always very inviting. Uh, they're trying to get people in and out as soon as possible in the store. Obviously not being pushy, but they wanna make sure that you're being served. 
and there are all of the insulated cups and insulated coolers take a look again there's the bucky's tour i wonder if wally b has that shirt if not you got to come get it man next time you're down here heading towards columbia so here's one of the checkout areas. Now this is the main entrance to the Bucky's uh, where I was parked when I was getting gas and did that opening shot. There we see some freezer treats. And also here are some of the generic housewares and other clothing that we're going to see that are not uh, branded with Bucky. So obviously they have deals with other companies to sell their wares here in the location. So a lot of good like country style stuff, uh, country chic, you know, weathered type antique looking stuff. It's all reproduction, of course. And there we go. There's all of our 4th of July stuff. Uh, this was pretty cool. I didn't realize that they had one of the penny presses here. I went up to this guy and I said, hey, do you mind if I film? He said, no, definitely film. So let's see what he's going to get here in a second. Keep on working that crank. There we go. Let's see which one we got. There we go. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> that was nice of him to let me film. That was great. All right. Here we see more of the household goods, hats, some gear really fun time here at Bucky's. Again, if you do have a chance to get to one this year or any time, you absolutely want to do it. You want to experience it. You're definitely going to remember it. This is something truly different. Now, one of the things that I will call out before we walk out of the building here is that I still love me some south of the border. So south of the border is actually on the border of North and South Carolina for those of you that have not visited in the past. And it is a historic roadside attraction. It is somewhat downtrodden. Uh, it does need some work. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really going to be able to recover and have progress with Bucky's now here on 95. So I wish uh, south of the border the best. And every time that I get a chance when I'm driving past, I always stop, uh, take some pictures. I actually have some film uh, of a recent video that I have to get around to uploading sometime soon. Uh, but for the south of the border fans, definitely uh, I'm with you. And for those of you that are kind of cringe on south of the border, guys, you got to show it some love. We definitely want to respect all of the United States roadside attractions that are still hanging on out there. And of course, we want to love our Bucky's too. Here's another shot of all the gas pumps. Absolutely amazing. And again, this was shot at around six in the morning, so not that busy. It is a hundred times busier throughout the rest of the day. Once the sun is up, this place is crazy. All right, guys. Well, I wish you the best. Please join me on the next video. Thank you.